Okay everybody welcome back to another design tutorial and today we are gonna create this cool jelly animation jelly search bar in Adobe XD all in Adobe XD so when I click here what happens is this little cool animation occurs and you can start typing whatever you want uh, this is just a cool little tutorial so if you guys enjoy this at the end do remember to subscribe and like to my uh, like this uh, little video. So let's get started. I will give the entire Adobe XD uh, file down in the description so you can just download it and start using it. So I'm gonna create, I'm just gonna copy this artboard here because I'm really lazy and I don't wanna make a fresh artboard. <laughs> so uh, let's get started with a simple basic circle. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, make a s simple gradient here, right? So one side will be this light blue and um, The other side will be a slightly darker uh, blue bluish purple kind of uh, thing going on here, right? Just make this blue slightly lighter Yeah, so there's something like this here what we've got and I'm just gonna copy over this search um, icon here. Uh, this is a simple SVG icon. I will be linking the linking all the files down in the description So don't worry uh, With the simple uh, dark blue color Now this looks pretty cool, but this doesn't look like jelly at all So what I'm going to do is double click on this circle and now I can see all the anchor points and if I uh, press the edge uh, you can see this little pen tool kind of appears I, I can enter new anchor points so i'm just gonna put four anchor points and these are gonna be the jelly points we're gonna be referring to them as the jelly points from now on uh, so if i just take them apart i can create this cool jelly effect uh, it can be like a, a slight amount uh, or you can just increase it as we go a little less light jelly effect, nothing, nothing too fancy, you know, just stu just very simple, yeah? This is like a, almost like a jelly effect here. And I'm gonna click this artboard and say Command D or Control D, and I can duplicate this. Uh, on the second artboard, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna move all these points randomly anywhere and create like a, a, a try and create a jelly effect. Um, this is gonna be so cool. Uh, by the way, while I'm doing this, do comment down below if you have subscribed to me and if you get notifications, say hashtag Notify. Yep, that's what I'm naming you guys, you awesome people. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit too. So just, just to give it a, a little more of a flying jelly effect, so as to say. And one last artboard, I'm just gonna edit this one last time, not gonna waste too much time here. Uh, oops. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna make this slightly more rounder here and maybe make it more jelly-like on the other end. Okay, I'm just mumbling now. And I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit more, maybe to the same side. Yeah, perfect. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, just copy one of these artboards here. The simple one will do. And I'm gonna make this real small so it seems that it's as if it's scaling down. We want to make sure that it's it gives this 3D effect that it's going back uh, into like a compact shape and then it's gonna expand, it's gonna blow up. So in the next artboard, we're just gonna copy this again. And in the next artboard, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, first of all, I'm gonna scale it up. So it seems as if it's coming closer or if it's flattening uh, from jelly to like a flat substance or expanding and something like that. I'm not very good with physics, so I can't really tell you how jelly works. But uh, as a designer, it seems very cool to have this jelly-like effect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select all of these and just bring them closer here. And I'm gonna, uh, as you can see, if I you know, just grab one of these handles, I can kind of rotate them. And I'm gonna do that with all of these. So I'm gonna first bring this. I'm just gonna rotate the handles in such a way that they they're like a they become like a straight line here. Yep, something like that. Yeah, and I'll bring this closer too. 
and I'm gonna rotate these handlebars a little bit. Again, give it like a more, like a straight uh, search bar effect, so as to say. Just align everything properly, you know? It's all about the alignment here. And I'm just gonna make this straight as well. Yeah, it's, it's coming out pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna, yeah. See, now it's more or less straight. We don't want it completely straight because we want it to look like jelly still. We don't want it to look like a solid piece of uh, paper. Yeah. See, now it seems like a blob of jelly or uh, uh, there's a bit of in, uh, imperfection here and there. I'm just gonna shift this search and I'm just gonna make this slightly smaller. Just fit here, the center. Yeah. I'm gonna add this little uh, text that says, says uh, search for dot dot dot. Perfect. And I'm gonna place this um, yes, in the center, yeah. I'm just gonna make this slightly smaller. Got it? Yeah. This is more or less perfect now. Okay. Uh, don't save. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this um, to life. So if I click here, I can guide it to the next artboard, which is down below. We're just gonna say snap one second auto animate. Remember, auto animate has to be on, otherwise the magic won't happen. And here, rather than saying tap, I'm gonna select the entire artboard. I'm gonna bring this here and I'm gonna say delay 0.5 seconds, snap one second and auto animate. So it'll automatically convert from this uh, from this to this. So let's let's just quickly test this out. If I click on this. Voila, that, that is perfect. That seems like a j blob of jelly. Perfect, but there's something missing. Um, it, the whole uh, blob of jelly isn't animating when it's not clicked. So what I'm gonna do is select the first artboard, drag this one here. I'm just gonna say 0, 0.0 seconds delay. And I'm, uh, let's make it snap and five seconds. Yeah, because you, you want the animation to keep on going. So snap five seconds, auto animate, perfect. I'm gonna bring this back, all the way back here because we want like an infinite animation to take place. And with all of these, I'm gonna make them animate on tap here. So snap one second, that's perfect. Snap and one second. Now the animation is complete. See how the whole jelly is kind of uh, snapping back and forth its form. And if I click here, it converts back and it just solidifies into this search bar. Now that's a quick little tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that little bell icon. Just smash that bell icon so that you are the first one to watch my video. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you have a great day. I'll link everything down in the description and keep commenting, keep sharing, keep liking and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.